get my good side. What's your name? Al Ruddy. Al Ruddy. Two Oscars, remember that. Two Oscars. Oh, sorry, forgot that. <laughs> You know what? Bruce is working on a project that I'm really interested in. I did a thing with, uh, I worked with Bob Mitchell at one time, and so did Quinn. So we did a thing for uh, Bruce at the hotel last May on a documentary he's doing about Bob Mitchell. He's an amazing man. So I did, I produced The Godfather, and you know, Baby, and all that kind of thing. And uh, Cannonball Run, The Longest Yard, Walk in Texas. I'm actually getting, I created Hogan's Heroes. And I'm getting my rights back to that to do some movie. Johnny Depp wants to play Hogan. What's the most important thing to you when picking which story you're going to tell me? Either making a film or life in general? Life in general. Being here. <laughs> there was this old boxing gym I used to work out in in San Francisco. This is in the 60s. And uh, Billy Newman is on the, in the Tenderloin. And I think it's been there since the 20s or something. And Miles used to come in when he was in town with his friend, you know, trainer. And he and I were talking, and I got to know him a little bit just around there. And we're standing there uh, by this bag and talking. There's this big, light heavyweight thumping on a bag, a little amateur guy. Miles Davis looks up and says, wait a minute, wait a minute, man. Man, uh, let, me, let me show you how to throw that left hook. He said, now look, I'm not, a, not really a boxer, I'm just a trumpet player. I said, just a trumpet player, man. <laughs> That fell flat as hell. You said No, it's not there. What is that famous fish that they sell here? It's a fish. What is this? Chicken. Is that macaroni? Is that macaroni and chicken? Yes. I'll take it. Is any of this food to go? Crazy. Roberto lost his Roberto got Ingrid Bergman pregnant in my guest. Oh, really? In your guest house. Did he leave here too? What's the fish? There's a fa is there a menu? Can someone grab a menu? There's a fish here that is so delicious. I come here. This is always famous for uh, macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, Welsh rib and, and martini. You want a martini? You want a sip? And all the guys would come up here and paramedics used to come by here. The Polo Lounge is like the new Muso of France. That's it. And, you know. Has anyone read the Richard Burton diaries yet? They just, just came out? Oh, yeah. You know, those are the kind of books you don't have to read. Yeah. I figured I'd give you my opinion of it right now. Oh, yeah, give it to of me. Of course. Racy, sexy, the story that nobody knows, the inside story with Richard and Liz. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to read the book, trust me. Don't Why read the book. book I'm giving, I've saved you 25 hours. I have a great show. Spielberg dies, and he's greeted by, who's the guy who greets you when you... And says, and says uh, oh, we're so happy you're here, Mr. Spielberg. God has a big plan for you. He wants you to make a film. He's like, look, I'm kind of tired. I've been making films my whole life. Can I just enjoy it? He goes, no, no, God, God said you can have anybody you want. You can have um, Leonardo da Vinci to do the art direction. You can get Michelangelo. You can get... Um, uh, who's the composer? Mozart is going to do the score for you, whatever. He goes, look, I'm really not... He goes, okay, on one condition. He goes, I've always wanted to meet Stanley Kubrick. I did his film AI, and I've always wanted to meet him. Can I meet him? He's like, no, nobody meets Stanley Kubrick. Nobody. Okay, I'm sorry. He goes, well, then, you know, what are we going to do? Because I'll do the film, but i got to meet Stanley Kubrick. All of a sudden, in the distance, on a bicycle, is Stanley Kubrick riding by in the distance. And all of a sudden, he goes, there he is. He's right there. He goes, no, no, no. That's not Stanley that's God pretending to be standing. So drop another Can I get my wife to sit over here for one second? Yeah, sure. Wanda, come, come on. Man. Yeah, come on. Wanda, come in. Yeah. Come Wanda, come on. Come on. Yeah. Wanda. Yeah. Wanda. We want Wanda. Wanda, come on. Wanda, Wanda. 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 Got a beautiful woman sitting next to me. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Not one Godfather story. I can't believe it. <laughs> every Godfather story is different. Yeah. It depends on who you are. Well, so besides right. there, every story. Yeah. I keep changing. I'll tell you. I'll tell you how we made our deal with Joe Colombo, right? We came to New York, and uh, Bob Evans got a call from the Italian American Anti Defamation League. So he said, <laughs> he said, would you go meet with this guy Joe Colombo? It's getting very serious. I want you to go meet him and get him on our side. I said, okay. So I told Joe, I said, Joe, 
This is not a movie that is designed to defame Italian American. It's got a corrupt Irish cop and a corrupt Jewish producer. It's an evil opportunity, an evil opportunity employment organization. But I said, nobody has ever seen the script, which they have. I said, if you want to come to my office tomorrow, I'm going to let you read the script. He said, you are? I said, yeah. The next day down the hall, I take out a 155-page script. I said, this is it, Joe. Goes to page one, he looks at it for about two minutes. He says, what does this mean, fade in? <laughs> well, the screen's black on Facebook. <laughs> now, I realized then, he is never going to go to page two. No. Uh, yeah. Friday, Joe take, slammed it on my desk. Wait a second, do we like this guy? Yeah, uh -huh. we like him. Why do we have to read the script? Yeah. Shook my hand, and that's the genesis wow. of my deal with the lead. They never read the script. However, I've always paraphrased it in this sense. When you make a deal with those guys, you don't need a lot. Yeah. Trust me. I'd rather, I'd rather make a deal with the mafia than the Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Because you shake the hand, that's all you need. That long, long.